Hello. So I'm going to make another update video. And it might be kind of boring because I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself a bit. But I am going to be mentioning um, something that's been kind of bothering me lately. Um, but first I'll do like my typical update stuff and then talk about it later. Um, so basically, in case this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I had the gastric sleeve weight loss surgery on July 21st, um, 2015. And I am approaching my seven month surgery. Um, and I'm going to make the video now as opposed to my actual seven month anniversary because I have like four or five birthdays coming up and one of them is my husband's birthday and then the weekend after that I'm gonna be in Vegas so I'd rather just make the video now um, my highest recorded weight was 250 pounds my surgery weight was 248 um, and my current weight is 190.6 um, so I think that's like a three or four pound loss from last month. So that's good. Ish. Um, <laughs> I try to lose like closer to six or seven pounds a month. But I guess the slower you lose weight, the easier it is to kind of maintain and tighten your skin. So I'm going to just look at it as a positive for now. At least I'm not gaining weight. So, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm still doing good on the vitamin front and staying hydrated. Um, I think I've been good about protein because I've basically been following like the Atkins diet. Um, just low carb, basically. Um, I don't like avoid carbs all the time. I'm not super strict about it. Um, especially since Valentine's Day just passed, I, my husband bought me chocolate covered strawberries and I ate them. So I don't deprive myself of things, but for the most part, I do stick to like a meat and cheese diet. And it's been apparently working because I am losing. Um, as far as exercise, I haven't been going to the gym. Like I said, I was going to in one of my other videos. Um, but that's because... My husband and I are sharing a car right now, and he works really long hours, and our gym doesn't have childcare, so it's just really hard to go. So I've been doing um, Pilates and other little like um, workout videos that I find on YouTube, um, so that's been going good. I don't see any major results yet. Um, but I definitely don't feel like I look bigger or grosser. So <laughs> I guess I'm just going to keep up with it and let you guys know how that goes. Um, and then another thing that I wanted to mention is I recently had to start using a new deodorant. Because the deodorant that I've been using for the past 3-4 years, maybe even longer, um, was secret. And it no longer does a job for me anymore and I'm gonna assume that surgery related somehow doesn't really make sense but maybe it's just because I'm getting older I don't know but I feel like I sweat more and so I had to basically just get a better stronger deodorant and the problem solved I, but just wanted to mention that um, I also went summer clothes shopping because last year not only was I a lot bigger than I am now but I didn't really have any summer clothes because I didn't feel comfortable in them so I went to Kmart and Target and even though I typically wear a size 14 and some size 14s are actually getting big on me I had to get a size 16 in both shorts so that was pretty frustrating that I had to get a size 16 at both places and I'm wearing one of them right now and these are actually kind of snug they're not like 
uncomfortable, embarrassing snug. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought them. Um, but they are snug. And then the other ones fit me perfectly. So I don't know if shorts run small or if I'm actually a 16 or if I'm right in between a 14 and a 16. Um, kind of it was frustrating for me to have to buy a 16, but on the positive side, I'm grateful that I'm comfortable enough to wear shorts like this out in public. Um, I don't think I look amazing in them. Um, I definitely need to like tighten and tone my legs more and tan them, <laughs> but I'm wearing them and I've worn them out in public already, so... That's a non-scale victory right there, even though they are 16, like I said. Um, I also wanted to mention that what, another YouTuber, I don't remember her name, but if you look up these types of videos a lot, you've probably watched her videos. And she mentioned in one of her recent videos that everyone wants to be skinny. And she said, if you say that you don't want to be skinny, then you're fooling yourself or you're just flat out lying. And I didn't find that offensive, but I definitely don't agree with that at all. I honestly don't want to be skinny. I don't think skinny is ugly or unattractive by any means, but I personally want curves and like, like a dream body for me would be something similar to Jennifer Lopez or Nicki Minaj, maybe. I don't know, that might be a bit dramatic, but like, I like having curves basically. Um, if I were to get like liposuction and was able to like tighten, tone up everything I have now, I think I would be really satisfied with how I look. Um, I don't have the goals of having the thigh gap or fitting into a size two or looking good in a bikini. And so I don't know if that needed to be mentioned, but I just wanted to say, sorry, girlfriend, I don't agree with you. I don't think everybody wants to be skinny. I know I personally don't have the goal of being skinny. Um, and I thought it was a little bit rude for her to say that because, you know, why... Does she want have to assume what everybody wants? I don't know. Anyways, no big deal. Um, let's see. What else did I want to mention? Oh, yeah. I wanted to mention something that's been bothering me. And that is the fact that I have had weight loss surgery. And I have lost a pretty dramatic amount of weight. And I'm still considered obese. That has really been bothering me lately for several reasons. Um, I, I don't want to say it's like depressing me because I'm still really happy that like I'm in Wonderland and I'm able to wear shorts and I know I'm a lot smaller and healthier than I was before. So I'm not at all depressed, but it is like really crazy to me that I'm so much smaller and healthier than I was before, but that I'm still considered obese. Like it's just kind of boggling my mind that I let myself get that big, I guess. You don't really realize how big you're getting when the weight's going on, but then when it starts falling off, it's it's just really crazy. But then it's also upsetting that I'm still overweight and obese because I'm putting all this work into losing weight and I still wouldn't want to go to the doctor and step on the scale and I still know that I'm considered obese. So that's kind of like a bummer, but I'm just going to keep on keeping on and hopefully I'll get closer to my goal weight and we'll see how it goes from there. So thanks for watching.